using equivalent ratios to find a whole. So first I want to talk about the formula you can use for solving these per percent problems. We know that percent is always out of 100 and then we can set that to the is what is a certain amount out of a certain amount. So percent out of 100 is equal to the is amount out of the of. So if you can remember this is how you set it up, then it's simply a matter of substituting into this formula. So here we have 75%. So that means we are going to do 75 out of 100 because a percent is always out of 100. We're going to use equivalent ratios to solve. Now we have of what number? So the of portion is the unknown. So we can put a question mark there. We do not know the of of what number, but we do know that it is 150. So where we see the word is, we put 150. To solve this, it's like you're setting up and solving a missing number in an equivalent fraction. What am I multiplying the numerator by to get from 75 to 150? I'm multiplying by 2, so I need to multiply the denominator by 2 as well, and 100 times 2 is 200. So the answer here would be 200 is the number, 75% of 200 is 150. And we got that by taking 75 times 2 and 100 times 2 to equal 150 over 200. Another example, so again our formula is percent over 100 is equal to is over of. There are 20 students in a math class who have brown hair. This represents 80%. So that tells us that it's 80 over 100 of the students in the class. What equation or write an equation that can be used to find the total number of students in the math class? So we do not know how many students are in the math class. So the of the students in the class is the unknown. So we're going to put the question mark or the variable where the unknown is. So we do not know how many students are in a class, but we do know that of the students in the class, 20 students have brown hair. So there are 20 students with brown hair at, of the total number of students in the class, and we're trying to find the total. So our of amount is the total. Our is is how many out of the total represents the percent that we have. So we would say, okay, well, what am I doing to 80 to get to 20? Because whatever I do to 80 to get to 20 with multiplication I do or division, I do the same thing in the denominator. 80 divided by 4 is 20. So 100 divided by 4 is how I would get the denominator, which is 25.